remains unwavering. It's not just about remodeling, it's about legacy. In Minot and Bismarck, SurfPro is your partner in transformation. We don't just build back, we elevate every space. Great news! If you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up! Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do, and we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... PSP Network. It's game day. That sinking feeling you get when this happens? That's oil change anxiety. The anxiety of being without a car with a billion things to do. The fear of being overcharged. The stress of not knowing where to go or who to trust. But you never get those feelings at Valvoline Instant Oil Change, where you can watch us work right from your car, and we finish up in about 15 minutes. We changed your oil and did our 18-point safety check. Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Service you can see, experts you can trust. When it comes to your car, you need someone you can trust. Someone who cares about your safety, your budget, and your peace of mind. At Trusted Tire and Auto, trust is more than just a word. It's at the heart of everything we do. We're a local business owned and operated by people who live and work in this community. And we believe that by building relationships based on trust and care, we can make our community a better place to live and drive. Trusted Tire and Auto, where trust, care, and community meet on the road. When it's time to choose your team, you want to pick the best. I pick Carson Wentz. I think Hunter Lipke. Where'd you come from? Eyes in football, just like you. Always choose people you know and trust for your team. Like your community bankers at First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. For decades, Nodak Insurance Company has been serving our state's residents in good times and challenging times. We come together for the greater good, from simple acts of kindness to company-wide efforts that make a difference in our community. It's who we are, rooted in North Dakota and ready to serve when it matters most. Nodak Insurance Company, agents with answers. Darren Johnson, Cody Olson, and Scott Wilkins, your agents with answers in Mandan. You have built an amazing life by working hard and doing your job well. Delivering financial advice is what we do well. 
At Ameriprise Financial, our job is to use our skills, experience, and research to help you become more successful in today's economy. What we want you to walk away from each encounter with is satisfaction in knowing that together, we've done what we can to help you work toward a better future. slices your sub right in front of you, see? The slicer, the meat and cheese, it has a rhythm. This is the rhythm of the slice. from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold on. Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do, and we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. Meet Gary. Gary is an ordinary guy, but right now Gary has car trouble. Gary doesn't know about magic towing. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. We are here to help 24-7. Magic towing in Western North Dakota. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. Welcome to the beginning of a big week of basketball on the PSP Network from the Division B ranks. It's a Division B showcase all week long on the PSP Network, and it starts with Tuesday night hoops for the Magic City. The Bishop Bryan Lions, ranked fourth in the state, hosts the Kenmare Bow Bells Honkers at 8 and 6 out of District 7. Alongside Bryce Kutnick, I'm Owen Patterson on the call today from the Lions Den and Bishop Bryan Catholic School. Welcome into the Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show with timely services that won't slow you down and no appointment needed. It's a stain or car drive through oil change. It'll take about 15 minutes at any of their locations in Minot or Bismarck. You can also check out what they do online at VIOC.com. Bryce, four Division B games this week. We're getting close to tourney time. Season's really heating up and I mean, these two teams, they're playing some good basketball lately. I tell you what, I've, I've, I've had the pleasure of seeing both teams play. I tell you what, starting with Ken Mayer's side, the Zimmer kid, he's a little bit of do-it-all, just a prolific scorer, loves the ball in his hands. Going to be a big focal point tonight for the Bishop Ryan Lions. And on the other side, good to see Walt healthy. I know you and I had discussions about that. If, if he was healthy and all, I knew he was injured there for a bit with an ankle injury. Then you got Lundin, guy who can beat you off the bounce, just a knockdown shooter. This could be a fun one, Owen. Knockdown shooters across the lineup for Bishop Ryan. I mean, they have anybody who gets an open look is probably going to hit it. That's Pesa, that's Sheen, on down the list, including Lundin, like you said. And offense is really going to be a big focus for these two teams, both who score in the 65 point per game range. Ken Mare at 66, Ryan at 65 a game. So for Ken Mare, you know, they're fine if this one maybe looks like it's getting out of hand in a track meet going back and forth because they trust those scores that include Jack Zimmer, a prolific scorer, one of just two seniors on the roster. But a guy that's coming on lately for Ken Mare Bowbells is Caleb Knutson. He's also a dangerous three-point shooter. The Lions are going to have to keep their peripheral vision on. Yeah, I tell you what, like you said, track meet's a great word. Ken Mare more than willing to get this ball, uh, to get this game up and down, get that up tempo, try and get some easy buckets in transition. On the Ryan side, 
they're pretty, I'd say they're a little more comfortable in the half court game. Run some sets through walls and some Lund and uh, Lundin there at the top, some ball screen stuff. Like I think uh, Ken Mary you probably want a game closer to the 70s. And uh, I think uh, if you're Bishop Ryan, you maybe want to do battles in the mid 50s to the lower 60s there, Owen. We're going to be featuring a lot of teams from a lot of different districts here on the PSP Network over this week. Uh, and these two teams are going to be act in action a lot over the course of the next couple days. Ken Mare's in the midst of a four games in six days stretch. Uh, they played last night against Trenton. That was made up from earlier in the year during the snowstorms. They play number four Bishop Ryan today. Two days from today, they play number nine Williston Trinity Christian. And then you end the week on Saturday against receiving votes Alexander. I was talking to Coach Casey Kaiser before the game today. He said, yeah, it's going to be a struggle, but it's also a very similar schedule when you get into districts and region tournament, especially now with the state qualifiers where there's a chance you do play four games in six days. So he says this is going to be a really good test for them and you're going to prepare for later on this season. Absolutely. The preparation for these upcoming, uh, you know, the district and the region tournament plays, it's stuff like this. Just like you said, four games in six nights, you're traveling, you're on the bus, you're spending a little more time with each other and stuff. It really helps prepare you for that uh that amount of action, Owen. And for Bishop Ryan, of course, the one everybody's got their eyes on, it seems, in the state. Thursday night, it'll be here on the PSP Network, this very building. They host number two, West Hope Newburgh, a matchup we've been waiting for all year long since we saw these teams in action back in December. For Bishop Ryan, you know, I know they're probably thinking about that game since, you know, two weeks ago, but you got to play Kenmare tonight. How do you keep your focus on an opponent like the Honkers? I tell you what, Kenmare, I'm watching them warm up here, Owen. They're, they're ready to go. They got off the bus. They're here warming up. They're uh, they're excited to be here and try and uh, try and get a big uh, big W tonight here at the Lions Dick. All right, we've got more of the Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show and also tip-off coming up next from Minot, North Dakota. It's Ken Mare Bobels and Bishop Ryan meeting on Tuesday Night Hoops on the PSP Network. The dictionary defines community as a group of people living in the same place or sharing common goals. Community is the largest part of our name and we make it the largest part of our business. We support our local schools, organizations, youth programs, and local events from Bowman to Bismarck because we all share a common goal to better the quality of life in our communities. Come bank with us at Dakota Community Bank and Trust, your real community bank. Whether it's getting an education, making priceless memories, learning to play, playing to learn, or simply getting where you need to go, the team at Ackerman Estbold has been behind these projects and countless others, developing critical infrastructure, valuable spaces, and even some good old fashioned fun. Entrusted with the things you know, but delivering more than you may realize. Ackerman Estbold, trusted for decades and decades to come. All right, bring it up, bring it up. Come on, come on, come on. Someone's gotta call a play. All right, let's go. High ride, zoom, spider two, Y banana. You don't like that one, okay. I ride 40 power? No. You don't want that one either? No. All right, go kick off. Get out of here, let's go. First Western is your independent community bank with all the online conveniences you want and an experienced team you can count on. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. Bishop Ryan Band getting everybody pumped up in the gym over here. We're feeling the excitement ahead of this broadcast tonight between Cameron Bobels and Bishop Ryan on the PSP Network brought to you by Minot State University. The best way to predict your future is to create it with over 100 areas of study at Minot State. You'll earn the, earn the degree for the career you desire with more than 96% of recent Minot State grads employed or continuing their education. MSU grads get jobs, period. Minot State University be seen, be heard, be you. Well, this matchup features number four ranked Bishop Ryan. The poll looks a little different this week, especially in the top half. Bowman County's been number one the whole year long. West Hope Newburgh also undefeated. We'll see them in two days. North Star, who is the third to last undefeated team, they lost last week to Division A Hillsborough Central Valley. They drop one spot. Bishop Ryan, though, unable to get ahead of the Bearcats, who still received a first place vote this week. They sit at number four. Glenn Ullen Hebron is going to play Bowman County on the PSP Network Monday night. We'll be down there in Glen Ullen. Not me, but the Bismarck crew. 
The Bearcats, number five in the state, also with one loss. Linton HMB at number six. Sargent County, who just took down Hankinson. They are on top of the Pirates by one spot, seven and eight, respectively. Williston Trinity Christian, the story of the year, I'd say. I mean, where did that team come from? I hope to see them in the Region 4 tournament later on this year. They sit at number nine. And Wilton Wing uh, making their way through the gauntlet that is District 6 right now, sitting at number 10. Edgley Cullum, Montpelier, Garrison, Mohawk, for Sherwood, Alexander, and Ellendale all receiving votes. There's a lot of teams from Region 4 in that list. Uh, if you had to pick right now, uh, what team are you most interested in? Let's not go with best, but most interested right now. I, I tell you what, I've seen him play a couple times this year. West Hope has been the real deal. I'm really excited to do a game Thursday night. Hey, I know we're here. I know we got Canmere. I know we got Ryan tonight. Also, really excited for this one, but the way they shoot the basketball, just a prolific sh three-point shooting. I, it's, I, I'm really excited to see West Hope on Thursday, Owen. Well, let's take a quick peek at the district standings because, of course, these two teams from different districts but the same region in this day and age of high school basketball in the state of North Dakota. Starting with Kenmare Bovals over in District 7, Wilson Trinity Christian is the only undefeated team left in district play. They're at 5-0, and but Kenmare Bovals one game behind them. They play the Crusaders. They also play Alexander later this week. Kenmare can take the number one seed in the district with two wins uh, later on this season. Powers Lake Burke Central also in the mix. We saw them earlier this year. The Ranchers at 5-2 and two in district play. Partial North Shore Plaza gave Kenmare a run last week when the Hawkers headed down there to Partial. They sit at 3-2. and two. Ray at 2-3. and three. Trenton at 1-5. and five. And Then Tioga and Divide County battling it out for the last spot in the district tournament. Over in District 8, Bishop Ryan and West Oak Newburgh. They've been on the collision course all year long. They currently sit both unbeaten in district play. Bishop Ryan 7-0, West Oak Newburgh 6-0. Lions have the advantage, at least for today. Mohawk Lansford, Sherwood at 4-2. And, and then a whole hodgepodge of teams there. Our Redeemers in Surrey, 4-3. The Knights have the head-to-head -head win. Harvey Wells County and Velva, 3-3. Three three. TGU, 3-4. Three They're sitting in a play-in spot, and they almost had a chance. They had a layup. If that would have gone in, they would have taken down Bishop Ryan a week ago. And then Drake, Animus, Glenburn, and Berthold there. District 8. All kinds of crazy there in the middle. Yeah, and then uh, talk about maybe a team in the middle. Belva, who's just started playing some really good basketball, taking down TGU, taking down Surrey. They seem to kind of be getting gelling at the right time. But I tell you what, the collision course like you talked about, Bishop Ryan and West Hope, we're going to see it here Thursday. It's going to be fun. But like I said, Kenmare, you were talking about them. They've got a great chance to secure that number one seed. Not, not much more you can ask for if you're Coach Kaiser. You're you're in a position this big week uh, ahead of them for them, Owen. Well, we're in the final game day of the month of January in high school sports. That means we're turning the calendar to February, and that's tourney time in high school basketball. The district tournament for both 7 and 8 will be held the 23rd, 26th, and 27th of February. District 7 will be at the Four Bears Event Center in Newtown and District 8 at the Minot Auditorium. We will be on the call for the Region 4 tournament uh, taking place at the Four Bears Event Center March 4th, 6th, 7th, 4th, 5th, 7th, and 9th with the state qualifier in there. There's a lot of games coming up in Division <laughs> B for us over the next couple of weeks. I tell you what, Owen, we were, we were talking pregame. There's a buzz in the air with these play, with these region playing, these playing games on that Saturday taking place. I tell you what, what, what a great job to get to get these games in place. I love it. I, I'm so excited about it. Uh, I can't wait for those. All right, well, it's just about game time here. Time for tip-off and the starting lineups from the Lions' den. Bishop Ryan hosting Ken Mara Bowbells. Will it be just another run through for Bishop Ryan before they get to West Hope Newburgh on Thursday, or will Ken Mara try and pull off the upset tonight in Minot? We have the answer after this commercial break. Wondering whether you need wealth management? Wealth management is a multifaceted offering that should provide opportunities for growth and security. At BNC National Bank, we pride ourselves on putting your priorities first and providing practical, objective financial advice. Our team can help you assess your goals and take stock of your assets to determine whether wealth management is right for you. Speak to a member of our team today to learn more. For decades, NODAC Insurance Company has been serving our state's residents in good times and challenging times. 
we come together for the greater good. From simple acts of kindness to company-wide efforts that make a difference in our community. It's who we are, rooted in North Dakota and ready to serve when it matters most. Nodak Insurance Company, agents with answers. Darren Johnson, Cody Olson, and Scott Wilkins, your agents with answers in Mandan. You have built an amazing life by working hard and doing your job well. Delivering financial advice is what we do well. At Ameriprise Financial, our job is to use our skills, experience, and research to help you become more successful in today's economy. What we want you to walk away from each encounter with is satisfaction in knowing that together, we've done what we can to help you work toward a better future. Welcome back to the Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show ahead of this Class B showcase on the PSP Network. Brought to you by Ryan Family Dealerships for 50 years. Ryan has been a trusted name for car buyers in Western North Dakota. Shop their entire inventory at driveryan.com or visit one of their five locations in Minot and Williston. At Ryan Dealerships, the commitment and respect for their customers is as strong today as it was 50 years ago. Experience the difference when you visit one of the five locations in Minot and Williston. Check them out, shop online at driveryan.com. Well, Bryce, let's get into the Northern Plains here and there. Athletes to watch for this one for Ken Mare Bobels. It's Jack Zimmer. I mean, he's the go to guy for their offense. Also, supplies a good amount of defense. But they've run into a bit of an issue lately, of course. When you've got one prolific score like he is, they're going to face guard you. They're going to chase you around the court. Obviously, he's still the difference maker for them. But the other option is Caleb Knudsen, and it looks like a pretty good option for the Hawkers. Yeah, when you've got a prolific score like that, your go to guy. Mr. Bosch, Coach Ryan here is going to make it a point, try and shut him down. Probably make everyone else a supporting gas try and beat you. See what uh, what the uh, rest of the honkers can do tonight to help out Mr. Zimmer. On the other side for Bishop Ryan, we talked about the six foot seven presence of Ramsey Walls. This is a guy that can uh, throw down a couple of dunks a night. We've seen him on a lot of highlight reels in Lundeen, but I've been really impressed with the the sharpshooter, Max Sheen. Uh, he's really been good when you give him an open look from beyond the arc. I tell you what, a couple games I've seen, I haven't got to, seen, to see Ramsey Walls play yet, so I'm excited about that. He's uh, He was nursing an ankle injury each time I was at, in attendance. Max and Sheen and Jack Pisa providing that spark from the outside. Let's see if they can uh, continue that tonight, Owen. When I was here last time, Sport Clips MVP was Caden Say. He only had like four points in the game, but he may have had 11 assists, so he's a very influential part to that offense as well. Caden Say wearing number four. We're about to get started here from Bishop Ryan. We're going to have the national anthem and starting lineups coming up here. Let's send it down to our public address announcer here inside the Lions Den.
were talking pregame, that's a band that has about one player for every instrument over there, but they sound pretty good. Even the director filling in on the saxophone. You know my comment, Owen, I think the only thing they're missing, a little cowbell. Oh, yep. Well, we've been spoiled by the Minot High Band a couple <laughs> times with uh, quite the amount of uh, cowbell they have in that band. But Bishop Bryan doing a good job there. Let's get into your starting lineups for tonight's matchup, beginning with the visitors, the Kenmare Bobell Honkers. They'll go with a junior guard number two, Cohen Syme, as well as junior guard number 12, Caleb Knutson, junior, uh, sorry, senior guard number 22, Jack Zimmer, junior forward number 42, Peyton Helwig, and the senior forward number 50, Jacob Livingston. Only two seniors on the roster. It's a very Really young group for Ken Marabow Bells this season, led by Casey Kaiser. I'm going to turn out the lights here and introduce you to the Bishop Ryan Lions starting five. We start with the sophomore guard standing 5'7, the point guard number four. Hayden Say. Also the junior guard at 6'3", number 10, Max Sheen. Junior guard at 6'2", number 31, Jet Lundin. 6'7", senior center, number 42, Ramsey Walls. And uh, six foot senior four, number 33, Blake Kaler. Hard to read my notes in here with uh, the lights out, but those are your starting lineups for the Lions. It'll be uh, Say, Sheen, Lundin, Kaler, and Walls, led by Broderick Bosch. Went 10 and 13 a year ago. I'd say it's a turnaround at 13 and 1 at this point. I tell you what, they've played some great basketball, like you said. They start, I feel like they're really starting to gel. You get wet, you get what uh, Ramsey Walls back healthy. Get him back into the rotation. That opens up a lot for this team, Owen. Number four in the state, Bishop Bryan. They've got quite a week of basketball coming up, and it starts tonight against the Ken Mare Bowbells from Ken Mare Bowbells Hawkers from District 7. Let's get this one started from the Lions Den. Welcome into this broadcast of high school basketball on the PSP Network. Brought to you in part by Presswitch Orthodontics, specializing in braces and Invisalign for all ages. They offer 0% financing and free consultations, virtual or in office. Check them out at MinotBraces.com. Those gold and maroon uniforms don't belong to West Hope Newburgh just yet. That's Ken Mayer on the court. Bishop Bryan in the home white and purple. Here's the tip, and we are underway. Walls wins it for the Lions. It's controlled by Hayden Say. Guarded on the Lion logo by Syme. Gets it back here on the near side into a cutting Ramsey Walls through contact and a block called against Ken Mayer's Jack Zimmer. Always one of the toughest calls in basketball there, Owen. Zimmer kind of pleading his case, saying thought he was there, established position, was looking for the offensive foul. Ramsey Walls at the serve pro free throw line, just 13 seconds into this matchup. Sinks the first, and the Lions have the first points of the night with 24-7 emergency service and trained technicians. It's serve pro. Walls goes two for two. Lions have the early lead. Now time for the Honkers to respond. It'll be Zimmer bringing it up the floor for Ken Mayer. On the right side, he's going to be guarded by Lundin. I assume that matchup might switch off and on throughout the rest of the night. Handoff for Zimmer, guarding him well outside the three-point line. Capable of shooting from anywhere on the floor, including three feet from the basket. Gets it underneath the swat of Ramsey Walls, and we're tied at two. How about Mr. Zimmer creating off the dribble straight to the rack, tying this up at two. Bishop Ryan back on offense, and this is how quick this game might be. Another scoring opportunity for Walls. That time he missed the layup. Ken Mayer now looking for their first lead of the game. 2-2, one minute in. Walls lost the handle. Sorry, Zimmer lost the handle. Travels out of bounds. Last touch by Lundin of the Lions. It'll stay with Ken Mayer. 25 seconds on the shot clock. I tell you what, two position, two possessions in, Lundin and Zimmer. This could be a fun night. They are going at it. Inbound goes to Helwig. Now has it in the short corner. Dribbles through. Defense from Sheen and Say, but the shot off the mark. 
Lions back on offense. Walls dribbles inside the three-point line. Out for Kaler. Blake Kaler, it's good. He hits the first triple of the game, and that's what we were saying early on. Give anybody an open look from out there on this Bishop Bryan team, they're going to hit it. Tell you what, you got Walls on the top of the key. Kind of draws that almost, not really a double team, but they kind of help on, on the top of the key on him. Kaler knocks it down. Another shot from in the paint from Jacob Livingston this time. Misses, and those are shots the Hawkers, they're going to need to make to stay in this one uh, in the long run. Bishop Ryan now, Sheen touches the ball for the first time. Dangerous three-point shooter himself. Now Say off the pass from Walls. Say directs traffic. Kaler says, I'm going to put up another three. That one off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound Syme for Kenmare. Syme to the near side. Corner, that's Knutson. Free throw line, and Helwig, who went straight to the hoop, but a block, and they're going to call a foul as well on Ramsey Walls, who was trying to pin the ball against the glass. Instead, he's going to send Peyton Helwig to the serve pro free throw line for two. Looks like they got Sheen with a body before uh, before the block there with Walls. They, they got Sheen a little too much body on that one. First free throw from Peyton Helwig. Junior forward is good. Bowbell's back on, Kenmare Bowbell's back on the board, trailing 3-5. Two for two are both teams with 5.40 to go in the first quarter. One point lead for the Lions. Walls spinning into the lane, finds Kaler cutting to the basket. He's blocked by Syme, but Walls gets it right back. Puts up the right-handed layup, it's good. Bishop Ryan leads 7-4 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Zimmer stops, spins, gives it to Knutson. Looking inside for Livingston. De denied by Walls. Now driving baseline is Knutson and draws the foul. Two more free throws coming up for the Honkers. Tell you what, I think that's a good call on that one by the official Mr. Jason West. I had Sheen standing on the restricted circle on that one. Oh, they got somebody else on that one, Owen. Okay. Hayden Say called for okay. the foul. First free throw is up and good for Caleb Knutson. Chance to make this a one point game once again. Missed. It'll remain a two-point lead for Ryan with the ball. Five minutes remaining, first quarter. Say off the screen from Walls, gives it to Kaler. Back to Hayden Say, he's going to drive. Kick, Kaler, long two from the corner. It's up and in. Blake Kaler with an early five points for the Lions, and they lead by four. Great find by Hayden Say, penetrating, dishing to the corner. Cross-court pass to Knutson. That was from Dawson Redding, who just checked in the game for Kenmare. Three from the far side, Knutson no good. Redding with the offensive board, and that's another block by Walls on Redding that time. His second of the game. Work it around the three-point line to Caleb Knutson. Inside Helwig, fade away. No, offensive rebound by Zimmer, stolen away by Walls. Here come the Lions up the floor, working quickly at Say, weaving between the defense and putting up the jelly. It's a layup for Hayden Say, largest lead of the night so far for Bishop Ryan. How about Hayden Say these last two, position, two possessions? That one he takes himself, a little underneath the basket, throwing it up off the glass. Beautiful play by him. Zimmer floating in the air, draws the foul, and will head to the surf row free throw line for the end one. Foul is going to be called against Blake Kaler, his first team third already of the quarter. Three point play for Zimmer makes it 11 8. Still in favor of Ryan. Say again, straight to the hoop. 
sprinted right past Terry Lucy just off the bench. Hayden Say not only assists, but also can score. I tell you what, he is lightning quick, penetrating to the bucket. Walls spotting his way to the rim, and he's got the second chance. 15-8 lead for Ryan. We knew this would be a high-scoring game, or expect it to be. Bishop Ryan's offense has shown up. They lead 15-8 with three minutes to go in the first quarter of the Ken Mayer Bow Bells Hawkers on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. inside the Lions Den here in Minot, North Dakota, just across the street from the campus of Minot State University, which brings you this game on the PSP Network. For the 96% of recent Minot State grads employed or continuing their education, MSU grads get jobs, period. Be seen, be heard, be you at MSU. Hawkers with the basketball trailing by seven. Just under three minutes to go first quarter. Open look from Zimmer. He's going to take that all day. Misses that one, though. Rebound walls for the Lions. Another scoreless possession for Ken Mayer playing from behind. Say calling out the plays. Guarded near half court by Redding. Now going to drive with his right hand. Take it all the way to the hoop again. Oh my goodness. Hayden Say. What are you going to do about that? <laughs> I mean. It's right hand, it's left hand. Look at him finishing the lane, kind of switches the hand with to the left on that one. What a first quarter for Hayden Say. Here he goes again after the missed three from Redding. Slows down the pace. That's the rest of the line offense catch up. Gets the ball right back from Lundin. Two minutes remaining, first quarter. 17-8 lead for Bishop Ryan. Here's a lob to Walls. It's going to be a layup, but you get the picture. Lundin to Walls and another. Ryan Family Dealership's timeout call by the Ken Mayer Bow Bells Hawkers. Trailing by double figures now, late in the first quarter. We'll be back after this commercial break on the PSP Network. There is no place like the Country Club. 18 holes of immaculate golf, along with Golf Simulator, PGA staff, club fitting and lesson, driving range and practice green, pro shop, delicious food, Endless fun in the pool and activities for the whole family. Learn more and become a member today. Ramsey Walls with eight early points for the Lions, but six from Hayden Say have been really big points in this first quarter. I tell you what, the activity just... I, I, I do not want to guard him off the dribble, Owen. I will tell you that much. I would look... Plain silly. Ken Merritt with the basketball here out of the timeout. Ryan Family Dealership sponsors that break in the action. There's a shot from the Zimmer. And he's got seven points, which is quite a few for the first quarter, but it's not enough right now for the Hawkers. I tell you what, it's been kind of one and done for the Ken Merritt side. Waltz's activity in this first quarter has been tremendous. That one missed by Say. Quickly up the court goes Kenmare. Missed layup by Knutson. Another one the Honkers probably wish they would have had. Lundin handling the basketball. Into the corner with Kaler. Drives baseline. Draws the foul. And will head to the serve pro free throw line for two. Taylor makes the first. 24-7 emergency service and trained technicians using advanced technology and specializing in fire and water cleanup and restoration. It's Surf Pro. Taylor's second one is good. Lines four for four from the line here in this first quarter. They lead 20 to 10 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard with locations throughout North Dakota, Minnesota, and Arizona. 
BNC National Bank provides you with banking and wealth management services for your business and family. Visit BNC Bank online today at bnc.bank. From the free throw line, trying to get it over walls was Helwig. Offensive rebound, though. Secured by Sign. Second chance. Points for Kenmare. Brings this one within nine. Under a minute to go, first quarter. Sheen from the far side, corner, it's no good. Long rebound chased down by Ramsey Walls over to Say, new shot clock. About a four second difference, open Jet Lundin here on the near side now. Again, an offensive rebound for Max Sheen, inside Walls, and he's gonna rock the rim with a two hand slam. Late in this first quarter, it's 23-12. I tell you what, the Walls show is in effect here in the first quarter, Owen. Another opportunity now for the Lions before this first quarter expires as Zimmer's three is again off the mark. Walls will almost walk this one up the floor with nine seconds remaining. See who they put the, whose hands they put the ball in. It's Max Sheen. No good, but the putback by Lundin and one. Bishop Ryan's offense hasn't missed a beat all night long. The offensive rebounds, the second chances, really killing the Hawkers here in the first quarter. Lundin's first points of the game tonight. He'll head to the serve pro free throw line for one shot with 1.6 seconds remaining in quarter number one. It's up and good. Lines five for five now in the first period. From the charity stripe at the horn, it's signed. It was close, but no good. And Bishop Ryan, it was a close first few minutes between these two teams, but the Lion offense roaring to a 26-12 lead after the first eight minutes. Second quarter up next on the PSP Network. That sinking feeling you get when this happens? That's oil change anxiety. The anxiety of being without a car with a billion things to do. The fear of being overcharged. The stress of not knowing where to go or who to trust. But you never get those feelings at Valvoline Instant Oil Change, where you can watch us work right from your car, and we finish up in about 15 minutes. We changed your oil and did our 18-point safety check. Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Service you can see, experts you can trust. Shields Visa is more than just a card. It's the freedom to go. It's a gateway to explore and do more of what you love. Imagine where the Shields Visa can take you. So join us in discovering endless possibilities. Shields Visa. Together, we've got this. Ten points in the first quarter for Ramsey Walls, working on a double-double in the first half with rebounds. I tell you what, Owen, what a first half I am. I think he might have the double-double. I was just saying that to you. He's got a few blocks in there as well. Just just been too much to handle on the on the glass, I'll tell you that. Second quarter has begun with Ken Mayer in possession of the basketball, trailing by 14 to the fourth-ranked team in the latest Division B basketball poll. Syme out to Helwig, handoff Zimmer. Jack Zimmer steps into the lane. Gave off to Helwig with six on the shot clock. It rolls in for Peyton Helwig, his fourth point of the game. Hawker is still down 12. Lions first possession of the second quarter. It'll be Sheen for three. Max Sheen with a swish. And now all five starters are in the book. You can see that the attention. There's a back screen there for Walls. Defense kind of suffocates in the lane a little bit. Sheen gets that open look from the corner for three. Near turnover. Well, Bryce, I think we're back <laughs> on the air. That, uh, you know, I've been in this business for maybe like two months. I haven't uh, run into that problem. A power outage in the entire gym before, so we got things ironed out. We'll get that scoreboard up for the second half, I can guarantee that, but I think we're back to basketball, and while we were away, why don't you uh, catch our 
viewers I, from a few minutes ago up on what happened there. The, the best part of all of it was the basket went in when the lights went out. <laughs> I was staring right at the basket, and Bishop Ryan was kind of lobbying to the referee saying, hey, that went in, and they're like, well, the lights that went out when the shot was up. But, uh, yeah, something uh, obviously we weren't prepared for, but uh, – Owen, you handled it well. We're back. Uh, I think we only missed one bucket, Owen. It was a three ball yeah. by Sheen there. So we didn't miss too much. So. And we also missed quite the defensive play over on the other end by Ramsey Walls. He sent a three-point attempt from Ken Mare about five rows into the bleachers. As Walls is at the free throw line now, he makes the first. Second one as well. Lines leading 34-14 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. 5-11 left second quarter. If you're just joining us, we just experienced a, a power outage in the whole school. Streams back up and running. We thank you for tuning in on the PSP network. Long three from Redding. And I, I think Kenmer is kind of, you know, trying to put up any and every shot they get at this point to try and come back down 20. I tell you what, Bishop Ryan's really looked the part tonight. Hayden Say, look at him penetrating again, getting another wide open look there. Didn't knock it down, but they've looked all but one of the best teams in the state. Zimmer on the fast break, puts on the brakes, and switches, switches the three. Honkers back on the board. Hey, we got our scoreboard back. BNC National Bank scoreboard up and running once again, and it's like nothing ever happened. Surf Pro can do that too. <laughs> Save for three, no good. Walls offensive rebound, ripped away by Zimmer. Sorry, that was Lundeen chasing him down and poking the ball out of bounds. I tell you what, Owen, I saw I saw the lights dim, and I was like, this is not a good thing. Oh. Second later, blackout. Uh, so. <laughs> I think I left our viewers with the lights are dimming here in the den <laughs> as there's an end one for Redding. So Redding to the serve pro free throw line. Foul on Coy Okuson, who's in the game here in the first half. Misses the free throw, so it'll just be a two-point play there for Redding. Honkers trailing by 15 points halfway through the second quarter. Also in the game, Trevor Krecklau for Kenmare. Sheen on the cross-court skip. Dribbles into the paint, puts up a shot. No good, and then about five different players going for the rebound. It'll be a jump ball going to Kenmare. Now checking in for the Lions, Kaler and Jack Pesa. Terry Lucy hands off to Zimmer. 20 seconds to shoot. 3.20 left in the first half. Zimmer had nowhere to pass it to. He thought he had Krecklau in the corner, but Krecklau ended up behind him. I tell you what, just a suffocating defense from Lundin, forcing that turnover and the ball back to the lines. Say so refuses the screen from Walls. Had him on the roll, but was looking the other way. Now Walls gets it, hands off Jet Lundin. Baseline pass to Pesa, misses the three. Rebound, Krecklau. Redding between the legs, dribble. Over to the near side, and Knutson. Plays catch with Krecklau, now puts up a three. Hey, Caleb Knutson from downtown. 22-34, this was a 20-point game a couple of minutes ago. It's now down to 12. And a Ryan Family Dealership's timeout called by Roderick Posh and the Bishop Ryan Lions. We'll head to break. Streams up and running. This game is heading towards halftime on the PSP Network. An injury can happen anywhere, at any time, to anyone. 
it's not really something you can schedule on your calendar. But when it happens to you and it's not your fault, there's one law firm to remember. That firm is Schweigert, Clemine and McBride. We live here and take pride in helping our community. We know this area inside and out. We put in the work and fight for what's right so justice can prevail for you. That is what we're all about. We're on your side. We're Schweigert, Clemine and McBride. Jersey Mike slices your sub right. Sliced right in front of you. Welcome back to High School Basketball on the PSP Network. Bishop Ryan and Kenmare Bobels. Pace up for three, too long. Rebound by Zimmer. Up the floor to Kreklau. Back to Knudsen, who just hit the three before the Ryan Family Dealership's timeout. Zimmer blocked. Snatched by Ramsey Walls. Ryan wants to run the floor. Walls straight away three wide open. It goes in. Ramsey Walls presence in the post, but can also play from beyond the arc and the perimeter. I tell you what, nice little friendly roll there from the top of the key for Walls. So knock down three. Gosh, Kim Merritt seemed like they had some momentum there. Trying maybe crack that down to single digits. Then you got Ryan Walls hits that three, pushes it right back up to 15. Say tried to steal the inbounds pass and said just knocked it out of bounds. This time gets the steal up ahead to Walls, poked away by Jack Zimmer. Kenmer going the other way, looking up the floor for Livingston. Instead, will just pull up for a three. That's Jack Zimmer. It's good. Another three pointer for Kenmer brings this one back to 12. Zimmer doing everything, everything he can in this first half to keep Kenmer in the game. And off to Lundin over to Kaler in the corner, Pesa. Lundin wants it again from the wing, guarded by Livingston. Lost the handle out of bounds. Was deflected by the Kenmare defense. Lions line up for the inbounds play from the top of the key. So inbound to Lundin. Works his way back towards half court. 10 seconds to shoot. Pesa to the corner walls. Got to get it off. He does. Doesn't make it, though. Rebound, Ken and Helwig. Zimmer to Livingston from the corner. Walls, six blocks in this first half on my count. Unbelievable. Just his presence down there in the paint, Owen. He's, out, he's come out to the perimeter, blocked a few shots as well. Huge first half for number 42. Well, the halftime numbers and the Magic Towing intermission report coming up next. 45 seconds left to play, second quarter. Say gives it up for Pesa from outside the three point line, shot off the mark. Kreklau now will throw it across half court to Zimmer. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. Knutson patiently dribbling. Pesa wanted to steal. He's going to get the jump ball to be a turnover. 22.2 left first half. So good defensive play there from Jack Pesa. Get the ball back in the hands of the Lions trying to add to their first half total. You got to love if If you're Coach Bosch, you love something like that. Jack hasn't been shooting the ball very well here in the first half. Don't let it affect your defense. Causes a jump ball, gets the lines, the last shot of the first half. 10 seconds to go, Lundin's gonna drive, but the left hand, it's good. Jet Lundin adds two more points before the break, and now Say, a little bit too greedy, he's gonna get called for the foul. It won't be free throws yet for the Honkers, just three and a half seconds to go before the break. I'm always a big fan of that. If you got some momentum, you got some fouls to give, hey, don't give him anything, you know, for a good look. Nothing wrong with that foul. Played into Knutson. Not sure if they're even going to get a shot off here. They will. It's well short of the mark. And Bishop Ryan, 13 and 1 on this season. Kenmare came in here looking to run up the points in the first half. The Ryan defense has played well. The offense has shot the lights out in this building. They lead 39 25 as we head to the Magic Towing Intermission Report here on the PSP Network. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by.
PSP Network. It's game day. When facing disaster, it's not just the things we lose, but the memories. But there's hope. SurfPro, with decades of experience in Minot and Bismarck, is always ready. Our certified professionals don't just restore homes, they rebuild lives. Because to us, you're not just a client, you're family. Shields Visa is more than just a card. It's the freedom to go. It's a gateway to explore and do more of what you love. Imagine where the Shields Visa can take you. So join us in discovering endless possibilities. Shields Visa. Together, we've got this. Meet Gary. Gary is an ordinary guy, but right now Gary has car trouble. Gary doesn't know about magic towing. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. We are here to help 24-7. Magic towing in Western North Dakota. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. the Magic Towing Halftime Report. Remember their number, 701-509-4011. There's no job too big or too small for Magic Towing serving Western North Dakota. Once again, 701-509-4011 is their number. As for the first half numbers, we send it over to Bryce Scutney. We're going to start with the visitor side here, Ken Mayer. No surprise here, Jack Zimmer led them in scoring. 13 points in the first half. Redding added four. Knutson had four. Helwig finished with four as well for a total of 25 for the Honkers in the first half. On the Bishop Ryan side, Ramsey Walls, 15 points in the first half. Total domination from him on the glass, blocking shots, huge first half. Kaler added seven. Jet Lundin had five. Sheen had six. Hayden Say with six in the first half for a total of 39 for the Lions. Big first half from Ramsey Walls, like you said. I mean, he's done it in every aspect of the game, maybe except for dribbling it up the court. That's been Say's duties, but man, Walls has taken over this game. I tell you what, there was a couple, couple times he was a point guard here at top of the key, and he ran a couple set plays there and, and had a couple nice, nice back cuts going to the basket. He threw down the dunk. Like you said, he blocked the ball that went to about, I think it ended up maybe in Minot High School over there, Owen. I, just a huge first half from Ramsey Walls. Great to see him healthy. Well, as we look ahead to the third quarter here, Ken Mayer did go on a bit of a run. I mean, it was like 12, eight points there in the second quarter. Uh, and it came from shooting threes. We have seen they've been really in, unable to get anything over Walls down by the paint. Uh, you know, what's the importance of hitting those threes, finding the extra pass, maybe find the open guy for Kenmer to get back in this game. I tell you what, look at Zimmer, 13 points. They're going to need the supporting cast here in the second half, converting those opportunities, maybe getting him at the top of the key, driving, drawing some of that attention from the Lions, setting up some of his team out. They're going to have to knock down a number of threes to get back in this game on. Bishop Ryan, 39, Kenmer, 25. Second half coming up next on the PSB Network. We want it all. We want our dog to fetch it. Drop it. And drop it. Drop it. We want to fix it ourselves. <gasps> and actually fix it. We want to order the market price lobster. And know the market price of the lobster. How much is... Whatever the market says. Sadly, we can't have it all. Except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips. 
it's a game changer. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot, and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers Moving and Storage. Whether it's getting an education, making priceless memories, learning to play, playing to learn, or simply getting where you need to go, the team at Ackerman Estbold has been behind these projects and countless others, developing critical infrastructure, valuable spaces, and even some good old-fashioned fun. Entrusted with the things you know, but delivering more than you may realize. Ackerman Estbold, trusted for decades and decades to come. Wondering whether you need wealth management? Wealth management is a multifaceted offering that should provide opportunities for growth and security. At BNC National Bank, we pride ourselves on putting your priorities first and providing practical, objective financial advice. Our team can help you assess your goals and take stock of your assets to determine whether wealth management is right for you. Speak to a member of our team today to learn more. Kenmare has only faced one ranked team this year. That was West Hope Newburgh at the very beginning of the season. They're facing one tonight. They'll face another uh, Williston Trinity Christian on Thursday. So definitely getting battle tested ahead of the uh, postseason tournaments that are coming up in just a matter of a few weeks. I tell you what, Owen, first half, they kind of had their opportunities there in that second quarter. 13 to 13 on that second quarter. But how about that first quarter by the line? 26 points in that big first quarter from Walls. And Hayden Shea, we were just talking about it, trying to keep him in front of you. I mean, that's a task. I, I tell you what, if I was on the Kenmare team, I would not raise my hand for that job, Owen. Kenmare, uh, they started out the season 0-4. They got above 500 with their win over partial North Shore Plaza on the road, 63-60. Beat Trenton yesterday, 68-51. Again, they'll be in action against the Crusaders of Williston Trinity Christian on Thursday. As for Bishop Ryan, they played TGU a couple days ago, and, oh, the Titans had them on the ropes there at the very end. If you want to check out the finish, you can. Uh, from TGU, maybe don't. Yeah. A missed layup there at the end where they could have knocked off number four in the state. But uh, Bishop Ryan's last time out beat Glenburn 84-28, to and, of course, they'll play the Sioux of West Hope Newburgh on Thursday right here on the PSP Network. So many other Division B games on the network as well on Thursday. Washburn Cardinals are down in Flasher to take on the Flasher Bulldogs. Friday, girls action. Central McLean, ranked number three, comes to Minot to take on the R Redeemers Christian School Knights who have been in and out of the Division B girls basketball poll this season. And then we get started again on Monday. Bowman County and Glen Ellen Hebron, top five matchup in District 5. Back to the second half here. Ken Mayer will start with the basketball trailing by 14 points on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Time, Zimmer, Helwig, Livingston, and Knutson on the floor for Ken Mayer Bobels to start the third quarter. That's Livingston with the hook shot. It goes in. That's his first points of the night. Oh, right away, Ken Mayer feeding the post, feeding the big guy Livingston on the block. Great start to the third quarter for the Honkers. Second half starters for the Lions. It'll be Say Sheen, who has it right now, Lundin, Walls, and Kaler. Lundin driving against Zimmer. Shot in and out, no good. Offensive rebound, Walls. Stripped away by Zimmer, picked up by Sign. Zimmer, nice bounce pass to Livingston. Stolen away by Say. Working quickly. Open Kaler. Shot fake. Dribble kick out to say. He'll hand off for Walls. Takes the invitation. Misses the three, though. Rebound by Cohen Syme for Kenmare. Zimmer hesitation. Makes his way through the lane toward the basket. Drawing the foul, he'll head to the serve pro free throw line. I've been super impressed with Zimmer penetrating to the basket there. 
got Walls coming over, getting up that shot on the left hand, getting to the free throw line, trying to get this to a 10 point margin. Oh, the third personal foul on Hayden Say. He'll come to the Bishop Ryan bench as Jack Pesa checks in, the sophomore guard wearing number two. Second one no good by Zimmer. It was one for two. 14 points on the evening for Zimmer. Honkers down 11. Pesa to Lundin. He'll drive into a triple team over the walls. He misses the short shot. Another offensive rebound and another opportunity for Bishop Ryan. Lundin with the left hand. It's up, it's in, and one. Lundin always going to his left, it seems. Probably the dominant hand. I haven't seen him drive to his right yet tonight. I tell you what, the first time he had penetrated, kind of did that little dump off the waltz. I thought he had a, a wide open look that he passed up, but hey, gets back to him, finishes with the left hand, and has a chance at the old fashioned three point play here. And he converts the one free throw to the serve pro free throw line. He's up to eight points in the ball game, 42 28 lead for Bishop Ryan. Pass to Knutson, open three straight away, long rebound to Blake Kaler. So a quick possession that ends up in zero points for Ken Marabobels. Lundin, whoa, what was that? Rebound for the Honkers. And Caleb Knutson. Back to Zimmer, thought about it. Steps inside the three point line. Double teamed by Pesa and Lundin. Thirteen seconds to shoot. Lions man-to-man -man defense. Zimmer trying to get a shot. Put one, puts one off the glass. Offensive rebound. Livingston couldn't get that to fall. Loose ball picked up by Pesa for the Lions. Trying to slow down the tempo now. Walls on the block. No look. Pass out to Kaler for three. No. Rebound Zimmer for the Honkers. Just three points in the quarter so far for Bishop Ryan in three minutes. Syme works his way to the center court, now drives, puts up a shot with his right hand, possibly blocked by Pace, so Walls took a pretty hard fall, maybe hit his head on the ground. He's back up and running. Lions on offense. Basket's hard to come by here in the third quarter for both teams. To start the credit to the defense, probably they've been playing some pretty intense defense. And just as I say that, <laughs> Kaler had a wide open lane to the basket, and foul is going to get called on Peyton Helwig coming over to help a little bit too late. Tell you what, when the Ken Mares are when Ken Mares penetrate in the lane, you see that waltz effect there. Him in the lane just altering shots. I know he's blocked a number of tonight, but just the contest. Him just being there, huge factor. Blake Kaler hits the first in the serve pro free throw line. Tonight's game also brought to you by Planet Pizza. There's no pizza like it. Try the blue buffalo or a plain cheese at Planet Pizza tonight. Serving the Magic City for over 25 years. Call now at 701-852-1700. Second one no good, but it'll be two points in the end as Ramsey Walls collects the offensive rebound. His first points of the second half, he's up to 17. The number of offensive rebounds tonight for Waltz. He's just been so impressive on the glass. Cross court pass to Lucy. Has a couple new subs come in the game, and Terry Lucy right off the bench hits the three. Talk about much needed for the Hawkers. Lucy, first bucket of the game. Don't blink. It's Blake Kaler with the layup. He's in double figures as Zimmer now. Again, tempo is ramped up as Lucy tried another three. It was blocked by Sheen. Lundin bringing out his inner quarterback with the pass up to Sheen and the assist. Call that the spin cycle there by Sheen. Finishing, how about the Lundin pass? I've seen those a time or two there, yes. Owen. Lucy, they try and score again, misses it. And now we're gonna get a, uh, oh, Lundin stepped on the baseline. 
Ryan Family Dealership's timeout on the floor called by Ken Mare Bobels. For 50 years, Ryan has been a trusted name for car buyers in Western North Dakota. Shop their entire inventory at driveryan.com or visit one of their five locations in Minot and Williston. This broadcast of high school basketball on the PSP Network also brought to you by Roger Ward Moving and Storage, probably helping the region with their moving and storage needs since 1942. Find them online at rogerwardmovingandstorage.com to schedule a move or to find a quote Roger Ward, moving and storage. The planning team, financial advisors, Shots Crossroads post-game show. That was up next following the conclusion of this game. Still got 3.34 left to go in the third quarter. Ken Maribel Bell's trailing Bishop Ryan by 18 points. We've seen uh, Lucy come off the bench and put up three shots in a row. I saw him get a bit of a talking to here from <laughs> Coach Kaiser. But, you know, you got to get offense from somewhere. You hit one three, why not try it again? I'm telling you what, you okay. When you're coming off the bench in those situations, you gotta say, "Hey, coach, I'm gonna, I gotta try and do something to stay out here on the floor." Lucy tried to do that against that knockdown three, trying to find some offensive rhythm there. So, trying to help Mr. Zimmer out here. Just a coaching moment, not taking him out of the game. He's still in there. Probably gonna get another sh chance later on in this one. Honkers will end down underneath their own basket as we return to play here. Bishop Ryan Catholic School will be back here in two nights when they take on West Oak Newburgh, number two in the state. Zimmer inbounds to Redding, gives it right back, and then tried getting it back to Redding with dives for it out of bounds. Had a good play call, but poorly executed. I tell you what, great little look there by Zimmer. You know he's drawing that attention, gets that double team, slips a pass under, but like he said, the execution just wasn't there. Lundin looking for Walls, instead going to skip it to the corner, and Max Sheen missed the rim, rebound Redding. Like Sheen didn't even really have a full grip on that shot. Maybe you want to see him set that offense up. Dawson Redding, high arcing three ball is missed. Lundin tried to scoop it over the head of Redding. It ended up in the hands of Walls, and ends up being a Possible three-point play as Walls makes the two and will head to the serve pro free throw line for one. Foul on Dawson Ready. Sometimes the ball's kind of in the air off the glass. It seems like it finds its way to Ramsey Walls. Well, at six foot seven, he uh, has the height advantage by a couple inches over Ken Mare's six three, Redding and Livingston. How about Ryan from the free throw tonight? Ten of eleven in this game tonight. Zimmer had it stolen away by Lundin. He'll go up and under, and there's Walls. No, he couldn't get the second chance point to go. Zimmer into a one on three. Kick out to the corner, and Knutson, no. Rebound Walls. Redding was flying in there to get the steal. He's called for the foul. We saw Say get a little aggressive there in the first half. Kind of a, a similar play there. He did seem to be more of the ball that he grabbed, but called for the foul anyway. Great on that play. Once again, Zimmer finding an open shooter on his penetration in the corner. Honkers just haven't been able to capitalize on those looks. Lundin gets the screen from Walls. The second half here from Lundin, he's been relentless going to the basket. Pass falling out of bounds by Zimmer, hit the leg of Sheen. Lines off the turnover, here's Pesa. Off the front of the rim, no good. Back out to Sheen. Thrown by Lundin. The walls misses the spin around floater. 60 seconds remain, third quarter. Zimmer from way downtown. And almost Steph Curry like there, kind of get across yeah. half court. Better have your hand up. Zimmer with a knocked out three. 57 34 lead for the Lions. Lundin, oh, nice pass out to Sheen. He'll hit that one too. Max Sheen back to back.
30 seconds left, no shot clock. Lines up by 26, their largest lead of this game. Pass to Zimmer on the near side, right by Kenmare Bench. Over to Lucy. Terry Lucy dribbles to the free throw line, picks up his dribble, works his way past Sheen, right hand to layup, no good. Offensive rebound, put back Redding. There's a no look shot, four seconds left. Bishop Ryan with an opportunity. Sheen, two steps in front of half court, no. Three quarters complete, Bishop Ryan 60. Ken Mare 34, the fourth quarter coming up next here on the PSP Network. Meet Gary. Gary is an ordinary guy, but right now Gary has car trouble. Gary doesn't know about magic towing. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. We are here to help 24 seven. Magic towing in Western North Dakota. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's Magic Towing. The dictionary defines community as a group of people living in the same place or sharing common goals. Community is the largest part of our name and we make it the largest part of our business. We support our local schools, organizations, youth programs, and local events from Bowman to Bismarck because we all share a common goal to better the quality of life in our communities. Come bank with us at Dakota Community Bank and Trust, your real community bank. 60 to 34 lead for Bishop Ryan on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. For the visiting Ken Mayor Bow Bells Honkers out of District 7, this broadcast on the PSP Network brought to you by Prestwich Orthodontics, specializing in braces and Invisalign for all ages. They offer 0% financing and free consultations, virtual or in office. Enjoy professional treatment in a fun, relaxed atmosphere. Check them out at MyNotBraces.com. Bishop Ryan will be on offense to start the fourth quarter with a 26-point lead. Wall's not on the floor. His day might be done with 20 points through three quarters. Obviously still could see him later on in the fourth quarter with Okuson in the game. He has it now and will get fouled by Livingston. I tell you what, that third quarter, a lot like the first. Owen, 26 to 12 advantage in the first. Ryan comes out in the second half, 21 to nine in the third quarter. Okuson banks in the first free throw. So much applause from the student section. Banks open late, like I say, I gotta switch banks, Owen. Okuson, second shot, tries to bank it in again. That time, no success. 61-34 lead for Bishop Ryan. Well, you get in a situation like this, you're up 26 in the fourth quarter. You have a big game coming up in two days. Wall's coming off a bit of a, a nagging injury. Uh, you know, should should he go out there in the fourth quarter in a game like this? I tell you, ideally, no. Ideally, you you know, you, you, you keep this cushion and, and you get the bench guys involved here and uh, finish this one out and, and try and just uh, get ready for Big matchup on Thursday. Zimmer, the three, miss it. Okuson lost the rebound out of bounds. Livingston was in there to disrupt things. New shot clock for the Honkers. Inbounds goes straight to Livingston. Didn't have the touch. You think you could box out Okuson, Owen? No. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Be pretty entertaining. How about that, Bowden Irk? Welcome to the ball game. I'm not gonna lie, that's one of the best names I've heard this season. Bowden Irk. Didn't take long there, Owen. We see Ramsey Walls coming back into this game. A, a quick breather for him. As Lundin heads to the bench. Untucks his jersey. Maybe he thinks his day is done. Coach Bosch will have the final say. Pesa has the basketball dribbling to the middle. Knocked away by Redding. Pesa regathers, now loses it again. Redding with the steal. Preklau travels as Say went for the steal. 
Just for the fans at home, we have reached the running clock as well. So we're at that uh, at that point, a 30 point lead for the Lions. So we are gonna have a running fourth quarter here. Six nineteen and counting, fourth quarter. Irk, another one, yes! How about Bowden Irk off the bench, a couple three balls, getting in on the fun. Lucy gives it to uh, Maddox Crest in the game for the first time. And uh, during that last break, Zimmer headed to the bench. First time he's sat out a minute in this game. Another three blocked by Walls. Pretty rare you hear somebody say blocked a three rather than just another blocked three by Walls. I think he's blocked about three three-point attempts tonight. And now another dunk. That's two on the day for Walls. And Bosch is going to uh, call it off now with a Ryan Family Dealerships timeout on the floor. 69-34 lead for the Lions. Another five and a half minutes remaining before we look ahead to Thursday. You have built an amazing life by working hard and doing your job well. Delivering financial advice is what we do well. At Ameriprise Financial, our job is to use our skills, experience, and research to help you become more successful in today's economy. What we want you to walk away from each encounter with is satisfaction in knowing that together, we've done what we can to help you work toward a better future. Three timeouts left for the Lions, two left for the Honkers. 5.25 left fourth quarter. Lions up by 35 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard of the planning team, financial advisors, and Shots Crossroads post game show. Coming up next, also speak to our Sport Clips MVP of the game and break down the jobbers' move of the game as well. Part of our planning team, financial advisors, Shots Crossroads post game show. Still five minutes left till we get to that point, and pass goes across half court, saved by Redding. Over to Crest. Also in the game for the first time, Jacob Zorn, the freshman for Kenmare. Tried to get it to him. It was stolen away by Pace. A couple other subs in the game for Bishop Ryan. That includes Aiden Elm and Clay Fegley. In for Okasin. Back out Fegley. Turns down an open three to give to Pesa. Continue to wind down the clock inside of five minutes. Pass to Okasin on the baseline. Kick out to Irk. Already two threes in this quarter. Gives it to Aiden Elm. Put back by Pesa. Second chance points again for Bishop Ryan as they add to what was a 30, now a 37 point lead. Gotta feel good if you're Jack Pesa there. Kind of struggled, like you said, offensively. He's played really well defensively in this game. He gets in the score sheet there. Lucy from inside the paint. Halfway through the fourth quarter. Running clock is on. Lines on offense. Irk. To the top of the key, gives it to Clay Fegley, the junior. That's a screen for Pesa. Knocked away by Kreklau. He's going to get it on the fast break. Stop. Step back for three. Won't take it. Down low to Zorn. Adds in the layup. Great little head fake show. Show uh, Okus in the ball there, gets around, gets his first points of the night for Zorn. Couple more subs heading to the bench for, or sorry, the scores table for Bishop Ryan at the next break. Kreklau went for another steal. He's out of position. Open Irk on the perimeter, but Pesa tries spinning into the lane. Draws the foul. Foul called against Maddox Crest. Kind of a jump stop, little 360 layup there, Owen. It was one of those where he missed it and got bailed out in the foul or else uh, Coach Bosch would be in his ear after that one. I think he's kind of giggling. <laughs> Coach Bosch over here, he's a uh, little smile, a little laugh from him. Peyton Say comes in for Bishop Ryan, the freshman, standing 5-2. Also Griffin Liar Wangler.
Both free throws missed by Pesa. Remains 71-38. Redding to Zorn. Oh, nice move getting to the right side. Great contribution from Zorn right off the bench. Flyer Wangler into the corner and Elm. Gets it back to Flyer Wangler. Begley wants the ball inside. He's going to get it. Try and make a move. Foul called against Dawson Redding of Kenmare. That'll be their third of the quarter. First free throw no good by Fegley from the Surf Pro free throw line with 24-7 emergency service and trained technicians using advanced technology, it's Surf Pro. Titan Lundin checks in the game for, I thought he was. Oh, he's coming in for the shooter. Trey Christensen checks in the game for Bishop Prime. Now we see Titan Lundin. Both teams with really big benches. I mean, they've got... 15 players on each team. Yeah, they've emptied them out here as uh, the Lions in firm control of this game. Shot by Peyton Nelson was missed, went after the rebound and out of bounds. Any, I know we, we're finishing this out on, but any key keys to Thursday night that jump out at you right away that you're thinking? for uh, West Hope versus Ryan? Um, make a high percentage <laughs> of shots. That's gonna be an offensive battle there. I mean, you could say play good defense, but those are just two such good offenses that it's really gonna be about scoring more than the other team. Interesting to see how uh, Bishop Ryan really plays defensively because we've seen throughout the season a full court press today, not so much, but West Oak Newburgh, they play fast. They play the full 92 feet. I mean, will Bishop Ryan throw that at West Oak Newburgh or will they uh, sit in the half court? I really don't know, but I think it's going to be played at a pretty quick pace and with a lot of points. I tell you what, it's going to be interesting to see the de defensive scheme for Ramsey Walls. I tell you what, he's looked the part tonight. What a, just a complete game out of number 42 tonight. Super impressive. Final minute 10, tick down as Bishop Ryan improves to 14 and one. Hey, there's a three for Aiden Elm, the five six sophomore guard. Another one in the stat sheet. Ball goes down the hallway. We'll go back to Bishop Ryan. Got to love that. Oh, and the bench, super psyched as Elm knocks down that three, getting into the stat sheet. Thirty-five seconds left. Twenty-four seconds to shoot. Inside for Lyre Wangler. Kick out to Elm. Kenmare will drop to eight and seven. Take on ninth ranked Williston Trinity Christian next in a battle for the top spot in District Seven. Kenmare will also have to beat Alexander later this week to secure that number one spot. Kenmare will inbound the basketball and that will be it. Three, two, one, Bishop Ryan is on a six game winning streak. Heading into their matchup with West Hope Newburgh on Thursday night. We'll be back with the planning team, financial advisors, Shots Crossroads post game show. Following this one, a 75 40 win for the Lions over the Kenmare Bow Bells Hawkers. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by.
PSP Network. It's game day. Whether you're looking for a full service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of FINRA and CIPIC. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC, a registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. How would you like to turn this into this? With Shad's Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. Every time you fill up with gasoline or diesel, use the fuel tracker card to record your gallons. Once you reach 1,000 gallons, you'll be eligible for a $10 gift card to Shad's Crossroads Restaurant. Start earning your rewards today at Shad's Crossroads. Final score tonight from the lines then. Bishop Ryan 75, Kenmare, Bowbells 40. Here's how it happened with your individual scoring. It's Bryce Gutnick. We'll start with the visitors. Kenmare, Zimmer led the team in scoring with 17 on the evening. Knudsen added four. Lucy had five. Zorn had four. Redding with four. Helwig with four. And Livingston with two. For the Bishop Ryan Lions, led in scoring tonight by Ramsey Walls. He had 22 on the evening. Kaler added 10. Jet Lundin added 10. Three points from Aiden Elm. Coy Okason with one point. Uh, Fegley had a point on the evening. 14 points for Sheen. Six points for Hayden Say. Six. Oh, and... Uh, my favorite name of the evening, Bowden Irk, had six points as well. And Jack Pesa with two. The final tonight from the Lions Den. 75 for Bishop Ryan and 40 for Ken Mayer Honkers. Well, now we welcome in our Sport Clips MVP of the game. Sport Clips. Brings you the MVP there, the home of the MVP haircut experience. Nobody makes you feel like an MVP quite like the MVP experience at Sport Clips. Check in online with the hairstylist today or on the app at sportclips.com. MVP tonight from Bishop Ryan, it's Ramsey Walls. 22 points tonight, a couple blocks, a couple rebounds. Pretty good performance all around, would you say? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, I got to finish some layups, but that happens. You don't make all of them. But I thought our team played well tonight letting up like 40 points so I thought we played well defensively and offensively we shared the ball so it was good. Kenmare is a pretty high scoring team you probably knew that coming in uh, they were in the game in the first quarter then you started pulling away and pulling away at halftime uh, you guys were up 39 25 then you allowed 15 points in the second half you really started shutting them down as the game went on uh, what was the key to that tonight? Yeah so Voss said in the locker room that we played a really good first quarter and then the second quarter we left the door open a little bit and they opened it so we just had to in the second half we just had to come out and shut that door and close the game out well yeah jack zimmer had four points in the second half and he's the leading scorer for that team so great job today as for thursday uh west hope newberg's coming to town what are the initial thoughts before that one you know they're a really good team i'm pretty sure they're ranked like two in this state and i know a lot of those guys that play AAU with walker broughton for nd phenom in the summer so we're good friends so Last year, we beat them here, but we know they're a lot better team this year, so we just have to come play and do what we do best. Ramsey, first off, great to see you healthy. I know you were battling some injuries at the beginning of the season. I know that could be frustrating, but it's great to see you out here performing well. I just got a simple question. What's better, the two-handed throwdown or the block that ends up six to eight rolls back in the bleachers? I got to say the block because everything starts on defensive end, so I know if I just – uh, have big blocks that it'll get our defense fired up and get the gym fired up and we'll that'll translate to the offensive end. Great job tonight. Ramsey Wall Sport Clips MVP of the game. He had 22 points, a double-double as well as, I mean he might have had a triple-double with all those blocks. I haven't counted them up yet. 75-40 the final score. We'll be back with the final thoughts as part of the Planning Team Financial Advisors Shots Crossroads post-game show here on the PSP Network. Property owners in Bismarck and Minot seek transformation. ServPro's construction program brings both vision and precision. From that very first hammer strike to the final touch of paint, our dedication remains unwavering. It's not just about remodeling, it's about legacy. In Minot and Bismarck, 
SurfPro is your partner in transformation. We don't just build back, we elevate every space. Wondering whether you need wealth management? Wealth management is a multifaceted offering that should provide opportunities for growth and security. At BNC National Bank, we pride ourselves on putting your priorities first and providing practical, objective financial advice. Our team can help you assess your goals and take stock of your assets to determine whether wealth management is right for you. Speak to a member of our team today to learn more. Well, before we get into our final words of this game let's take a look at the next games coming up on the PSP network off tomorrow of course and then back to division B on Thursday in region 3 Washburn at Flasher two teams that have appeared in the class B poll this season not currently in the poll but working their way towards a, a region tournament and hopefully for both of them a state tournament as well with the new system in place of course West Hope Newburgh coming to town to take on Bishop Ryan on Thursday as well. Friday, back to Division AA for a girls and boys basketball doubleheader from Century. The Mandan Braves visit the Century Patriots. Girls basketball in Minot. Central McLean, one of two undefeated teams in girls basketball, the only one in Division B. They're taking on the Redeemers Christian School Knights. And then you see uh, what we got coming on Monday the 5th. Minot and Century, that's a big matchup uh, in boys and girls basketball in Division AA. And a top five matchup as well between Bowman County and Glen Ellen Hebron. A lot to be excited about over the next seven days here on the PSP Network. I tell you what, that's a loaded schedule for the PSP here with us. We are super excited. I I had so much fun talking region and, and, and the district, all this stuff with you today, Owen. I, I know I haven't seen you in a while and and stuff. It's, it's just an exciting time of the year as you see some of these teams rounding in the form, and it's it, such a great time. Well, we're going to be talking a lot more about those region tournaments because they are quickly coming upon us. February 19th, the Division B Girls Region 4 tournament begins. Of course, the district tournament is the week before that. We'll have coverage of the Region 4 tournament only from the auditorium, as well as the state qualifier games between Region 3 and Region 4. That's all coming up the week of February 19th here on the PSP Network. Uh, of course, there's some other uh, tournaments in between that as well. You've got uh, WDA hockey that week, state hockey the following week, WDA basketball February 29th, and then we get into Division A and Division B region tournaments uh, back in boys basketball. Region 3 and Region 4 being brought to you on the PSP Network. Region 3 from St. Mary's High School in Bismarck and Region 4 from Four Bears. And then our, our two broadcast groups will collide in Four Bears Event Center for the state qualifier games. I, the first time ever in North Dakota we're going to have an event like this. I am, I'm super pumped for whatever the heck we're going to see that day. Four games in one day and uh, four seasons come to an end. Four of them will continue the following week. I tell you what, just the concept behind that. I've talked about it all year. You and I talked about it today again. Um, just exciting to be a fan in, in this three-class system and the opportunities these teams have to punch their ticket to the state tournament. It's fantastic. I love it. Well, we promised one final word on this game. Bishop Ryan's 35-point win over Ken Mare. We briefly noted it in the pregame show that, yes, you've got the big top four matchup coming up, coming up on Thursday, but you got to play Ken Mare first, and they absolutely did that tonight. I tell you what, right from the jump, that first quarter, uh, Bishop Ryan... <laughs> Hayden C penetrating the bucket, setting up his teammates. I, I tell you what, I, I, I've seen a lot of quick guards in the state here at every level, and, and Hayden Say is up there, he, penetrating, getting wide open looks for his teammates, knockdown threes. Uh, Jet Lundin, really aggressive in the second half. How about Ramsey Walls? We talked about him. We had a great interview with him at the end here. The defensive effort, altering shots, his presence huge for the Lions tonight. My final word will be the jobbers move of the game. Jobbers going to be moved across town or across the country with locations in Bismarck, Minot, Fargo, and Aberdeen. Also find them out, find them online at jobberswarehouse.com. Jobbers move of the game tonight. It's going to be that Ramsey Wallace 3 when uh, we weren't on the air. We were in a power outage. You guys missed it, so we'll uh, kind of go back and describe that one. It was a pass to the corner to Ken Mare player. Tried to put up a corner 3, but Ramsey Walls 
uh, reached out and sent it about four or five rows into the bleachers over here. There's only six rows of bleachers, so it went almost all the way out.